Hey there, and welcome to the Cody Zone. My name's Cody, and you are watching The Legend of Dragoon. So we have a very good episode up ahead. It is going to be the Battle of the Century, because the boss is coming up. The boss that frightened me as a child because it kept killing me and it kept taking too many turns. I am certainly looking forward to that boss, and so should you be, because I will be frustrated. Hello there. Princess Emile. Princess Emile's over there on the right. Hey there. What you doing suspended over there? Don't know how Emile even got herself suspended. Uh, but probably due to false copyright claims, so we'd better we better get rid of those false copyright claims, also known as magic. It is linked with a different dimension. It's too dangerous to jump over. Is it linked to like Trollsville, where all the copyright infringement claims came from? She's right in front of us, how can we? So yeah, uh, basically we have to get over the giant gap of magic which looks terrifying and is linked with a different dimension. So what we're going to do is we're going to touch the magic. We're going to touch the magic. Will it destroy us? Uh, will it take us to a different dimension? No. Really? It will, it will make a bridge. Whee! A bridge! It's transparent! And you're just going to walk over it because... Why, why do you even trust that bridge? It's not a trustable bridge, it's made out of magic. Magic took all the music away from this scene. Princess Emile? Sister. Oh, come on, come on, Princess Emile, wake up. We got a Legend of Dragoon that we need to play. We need to let's play it, in fact. Come on, Princess Emile, wake up at once. Or something irrevocable will happen to your channel. Huh? Huh? Oh, Emile! <laughs> Hey everybody, it's ChokerCon. Ah, oh, no, I did the Texan voice again. I was trying, I've been trying to do the ChokerCon rival. I know I can do it, but it keeps switching. It just keeps switching to the Texan voice. <sighs> See, these, these are my problems. This is, if I had said this on Twitter, it would be with the hashtag first world problems. Like, that I can't keep the same voice. Like, it always degenerates. Like, my American accent, it always degenerates into the Texan accent. Uh, my making fun of people accent always degenerates into the Cartman accent or the Strong Bad accent. It seems I've troubled you a lot due to my absence. Yeah, I know, ever since you've been suspended, it's been horrible. Let's, let us go to the Chamber of the Sun. We have to let people know the truth and we have to rescue uh, Nintendo Capri Sun so that, so that we can give him back his Texan accent, which apparently Chuggy Conroy just stole uh, for this scene. Alright, so we just have to head down here. We don't have to worry about the guards anymore because we have Princess Emile, uh, the actual Princess Emile, even though Princess Emile is supposed to be in the Chamber of the Sun, uh, because that's a fake Princess Emile if you haven't watched the whole series. That was a plot summary. Who are you? <laughs> well, they call me Chugga Conroy. But Princess Emile, why are you here? Thank you for your work. My coming of age ceremony is still being held in the Chamber of the Sun, isn't it? Y yes, Your Highness. Alright. Uh, chill. See you next time. My name's Cody. Actually, no, wait, my name's. Yeah, no, my name's Dart. And Joker Conroy. My name isn't Cody. Nobody's name is Cody because you cannot choose the names of characters in this game. Uh, which is too bad, but I, I guess, whatever. I mean, I'm not all that attached to giving characters names. It's not that important. I mean, unless it's Pokemon. Pokemon is important. Uh, I am checking. I was under the impression that there was Stardust in one of these, but maybe I just have to come back later when we are not in the middle of a huge uh, climactic event, and it will let me through. Hello there, guard. Oops, it's Princess Emil. Oh, did I make it in time for the ceremony? Y yes. Okay, bye. Oh no. Yep, they cannot stop Princess Emil. There's only one person that can stop Princess Emil. Uh, that, of course, being Proton John. But he is not here. Uh, Emil probably spat on him. It's... It... Uh, what? What is that? Sorry, I was distracted. You've been filled with 20 years of experience since you came into this world. You have reached the age that deserves the succession of the Moon Dagger as an heir to the throne of Tiberoa. Never forget the blessings of the sun, moon, and stars. 
Anybody? Are there any objections? I assume this silence to be the approval of the succession. Wait! I have an objection to the succession. Oh my god! There are two Emils! Oh no! That's too many Emils! Yeah, it's... that was a joke. The Moon Dagger! What is going on? What is this? Someone set up us the bomb. Yep, so... I've been put in a sleep for the past half year. She's been suspended. Suspended from YouTube. I mean, the castle. During that time, it seems this person was making a variety of social missteps. Father, that woman was going to take over Tybera by forming a conspiracy with the Garage Gang. Oh my god! Huh, I guess you found out about everything. Don't you think it's too late? I got this in my hand. Look around yourself. That's right. That's right. You think I'm cornered, huh? Who are you? I guess I cannot run in this stuffy dress. This will be a treat to let me show you my true self. Uh oh. I forgot. I forgot to switch my characters around. I don't know what characters are in my party. Are they healed? I forgot. I forgot. This is Linus. Princess Emil, please leave the room with the King and Princess Lisa. Garrett gang is falling apart. Give us the moon dagger. The only chance you have is to give up. The girl in love doesn't know the meaning of the word give up. I have managed to get this for my love. I won't give it up so easily. I'm sorry, but you don't have time to be in love anymore. Because you will die here. That's great, Rose. That's the sort of pun I would make. You don't have time to be in love because you're dead. More like Lena's dead. Why don't you try? Alright, so let's see which characters we have in our party. Hopefully they are fast, because this is Linus. Oh no. No, why is Congo here? Uh Congo. This is going to be a pain. Alright, so this is Linus. She knows lots of magical attacks. Congo is weak to magic. He is this also like the slowest member in our party. That's Linus. She is a pain. Let's see if we can do this. Come on, let's just believe leaving yourself. Let's use speed up on. Let's just use it on Congo. Let's just speed Congo up, make him a little bit faster. And we will transform. Oh, Mero, I was going to transform with Dart. So with Mero, what you want to be doing is you want to be using magic because of course, do I have any magic? This is great. I'm, I'm the best at this. I'm just so good at this. Alright, so we got one, we got one attack, sure Mary, you can use this, I should have stalked, I should have stalked, I'm already stressing because I, no, 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 I'm not even sure if this boss is difficult, but I just remember, I just remember from my childhood that I don't like this boss, and that means that I don't like this boss. Alright, Congo, let's do this, let's attack the Venus, who is, by the way, a water element, the same type as Meru. Uh, Meru also has the highest magical defense of any of the team. So Meru is a really good choice to have here because Meru is going to last a long time. Uh, Congo, I don't. Know. He has a lot of health, but he's not. He's not very useful. All right, so let's just use ordinary attacks. Uh, but they won't be quite ordinary because oh. It. Because as a fire type, Dart's Dragoon attacks do double damage to hit her water type, uh, which unfortunately works both ways, uh, in that her water type attacks will do double damage to Dart. But luckily, while he's in Dragoon form, he takes half damage. What are you doing? What's don't? Did you realize? Do you realize that you just, you just. You just had a move, and now you're just making dark rain. You're just chilling with your little acid rain. You think ah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do half down, half of Congo's entire health. I hate this boss, I hate her so much. Why don't I have any magical attacks? Why didn't I stock up? Why is it? I hate you so much. 
She thinks she thinks she can just have like three moves in a row. She thinks she's so great. All right, let's switch to the goon. I'm not, you haven't seen Congo's transformation, so here you go. I'll let you watch it. Rose might have been a better choice, but we can still do this. Even if she does half your health every time she does a magical attack. Okay, I need to stay calm so that I can actually do damage. Okay, stay calm. Everyone's calm. Everyone's happy. Just Linus. Just... Alright, Linus. Let's do a perfect five. One, two, four, four. Ah, uh, counter Grom. One, two, four, four is of course not not how you count, but it will still do a decent amount of damage to Linus, who is. Um, I didn't censor that out. I just didn't have words to describe what I think of Linus. Yeah, that's right. Do your little skinny ballet dance. I think you. Could, why are you even attacking Dart? He's the one who's taking the least damage right now. This is her magical thing. She does that every time she has a magical attack. She signs it. She signs her magic with like a little signature. And why are you doing that one again? You have more than one attack, don't you? I know you have more than one attack. I remember it from my nightmare. Alright, so we're going to have to defend with Congo. We are going to have to... Do we have a healing? We only have potions. We're going to have to heal with Meru, and I guess we're going to have to attack with Dart. This is not this is not the best position to be in. Let's just uh, let's do a final burst. Let's just uh, use up that particular bit of magic. Let's go. Wait there, Bizarros. Wait. Sonic Rain Boom. Alright, so we are not doing as much as I'd hoped, but we are doing a considerable amount of damage. Uh, the problem is that as much as I hope involves uh, her being dead in the first move. That's not even your... That's like Emperor Doll's move. Give that back. Give that back to him. It's not your move. And don't you dare have a magical move after this. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. I said don't you do it. Don't, don't do a little signature. Dart's gonna die. Uh, Tongo might also die. Tongo will probably also gonna die. This is great. I'm having so much fun. Stupid Tongo. Ah! Oh. Why did we prepare? We were not prepared. We were not prepared. Alright, so we are going to, of course, uh. Sorry, is this Angel Prey? Yes, it is. Alright, so we are going to revive Dart. Hopefully she doesn't get another turn next turn before someone else can have a turn or otherwise it will not be able to heal. And we are going to use a healing potion on Meru because Meru is the one we need to survive. She is our caretaker. She's the one who lasts the longest against the magical attack. You're not even going to bother doing a physical one this time. You're just going to you're just going to chill with your little signature. Your thing is so great. Alright Congo, I had fun, uh, but yeah, Congo cannot survive magical attacks. What are we gonna do? I do not, uh, not mind purifier. I didn't say mind purifier. I said die Linus fire in a fire. Die in a fire Linus is exactly what at least I was thinking. Hopefully we'll be able to actually attack. Oh no, she's in the yellow. We just need to keep it up for a little while longer. Hopefully this uh, the sparkles are because. He has a heat blade, I believe, or some kind of fire type weapon at the moment, so he's doing a good amount of damage. Not going to be able to use her for anything other than healing because uh, they are in trouble. Uh, let's use it on Dart. Alright, this is probably the first fight in the game we've had to actually use strategy for, and I have, 
I don't have anything prepared, but that's okay. We might have to finish this fight off in the next... Don't you... Alright, let's see what she's gonna do. Ah, just revived him! Okay, whatever. Uncle was healing, that's fine, I'm having fun. Alright, in the next episode, we are going to defeat Linus, we're gonna defeat her face. A stupid face who thinks she can do magical attacks with a little signature. And I'll see you next time. Cody out.